Hello everyone, it's the Venom Xenomorph, and welcome back to a brand new Alien Blackout episode. Um, I just want to apologize right away about the uh, <coughs> content uh, of this video. I am very sick. Uh, I don't know what's going on with me. Like, there's a ton of different issues, but uh, I am sick, so I really apologize. But I will try my best to make this audio very clear for you, even if it means talking really quietly. Uh, and, uh, making sure that this content for you is good, because this is very recent content. This is actually yesterday. So, uh, this, this is very important for Alien Blackout and the future of the Alien franchise. Um, I just, w I just wanted to thank everybody so much for the support so far. I mean, we have grown substantially just from the videos leading up to the Game Awards and the videos after the Game Awards. Uh, and I apologize dearly for the huge delay on any new videos. I wasn't coming up with any new content in terms of gameplay or anything, and I also was going through a lot. But, uh, and obviously, me being sick is another factor. But, um, let's, uh, let's skip over that. that that's not important. What's important is this news. Uh, Alien Blackout, and this isn't the news, this is just my comment. Alien Blackout is our last hope. I, I, I want you to think about that for a minute. Alien Blackout is our last hope for anything alien. Um, I'll explain in a sec. Firstly, there is some good news. Any Alien Isolation fans out there, uh, Alien Isolation is getting a novelization with the release of Alien Resistance. That's going to be really good. So if, you, if you're like, oh, I'm not into the game but you're still an Alien fan, or if you're one of those people where Aliens Colonial Marines came out and you lost faith and then you saw Alien Isolation and you're like, ah oh, yeah, no, I'm not getting that because uh, it's trash. It's going to be trash again. Well, firstly, I want to say that you're wrong. Alien Isolation was a great Alien game. But uh, secondly, the there is going to be a book version, so you can read that instead um, if you're still too weary about the game. But anyway... Let's get into the real news. Uh, Alien Blackout is our last hope. According to an article here by Screen Rant, which was uploaded yesterday, uh, social media accounts for Alien are teasing a major expansion of the series happening in 2019. Um, firstly, the timing is perfect. 2019 is the 40th anniversary of Alien. So, all of this stuff, Alien Blackout, uh, Alien Resistance, the novelization of Alien Isolation, all this stuff for merch for Alien is perfect timing. It is absolutely perfect. Uh, for the 35th anniversary of Alien, they did this really cool thing where they released a ton of movies, like, all at the same time, uh, as new, like, remastered versions of the old films, and it was really cool. Uh... I am looking for something really cool in terms of them trying to do that again, but with some sort of collectible sort of thing. Like, uh, when Alien Covenant got released, it came, the Walmart exclusive version, excuse me, came with a t-shirt, uh, a Alien t-shirt, and I actually still have that shirt, uh, from Alien Day 2017, and, uh, that, like, I don't think they sell those anymore because the movie's been out for so long. Uh, uh, so I pretty much have a very vintage collectible alien shirt. Anyway, that would be something cool to bring back, that kind of style. But something more uh, alien-esque, like maybe a high-quality facehugger or a, uh, a helmet, maybe, from one of the astro suits from Alien. That'd be really sick. Uh, I know that a lot of video games are doing that these days. They're doing, like... Iron Man helmets and Fallout helmets and that kind of stuff, like, it would be really cool to see an alien helmet. Uh, but it's perfect timing. Um, here's the issue. Uh, the movie franchise, and I'm quoting the article here, is currently in a flux. I agree with that, because a lot of people really dislike Prometheus. I felt it was good. I didn't realize it was an alien movie until after the after credits, uh, where it showed the Deacon, and um, that, for me, kind of was scary because I thought, uh, I I thought that uh, 
that they were going the wrong route with things. Then they released Alien Covenant, and I thought that that revived the series and brought the series back. But people instead hated that movie, which was uh, terrifying because I loved that movie and it was so great. Uh, everyone kept looking at the plot holes and different changes. I just want to say right now, Alien Covenant makes Alien 3 and Alien Resurrection completely out of the water. Those never happened. Uh, and um, people don't want to let go of those movies because those movies were so bad. And uh, nobody wants to let go of them. And because of that, nobody wants to admit the fact that the franchise is being rebooted. Um, something important I would also like to address is the current... Fox Disney deal going around. Uh, the deal is done. They they don't officially own Fox yet. In, in fact, Alien Blackout is being theorized to be Fox's like last private project. But um, what what we have learned so far is that Disney is going to own Fox either by the beginning of next year or the end of this year. Uh, here's where Alien Blackout saves the day it saves uh it saves the day because alien blackout is not being owned by fox it is being owned by a sub company of fox i do not know if this sub company is part of the deal or not which means that if they could get it through either before fox was bought or could get it through dur uh after because it's not even part of it that'd be sick that'd be amazing because then that means that uh we have another chance at bringing this franchise back to life um Here's the issue, though. Here's the big issue. We're not going to see any good Alien films for quite some time. Uh, I'm going to quote the article here. Uh, the future of the Predator and Alien for Alien movies is somewhat uncertain when Disney take full ownership of both properties next year, but reports suggest the company will focus more on family-friendly projects instead. It's a fate worse than death. Uh... We were all afraid that, oh no, Disney's buying Fox, the Alien movies are ruined. Uh, PG-13 Alien, here it comes, oh god. Uh, we're looking at that kind of stuff here, right? Not even that, we're going to be looking at the actual death of the franchise. We're looking at no more Alien films, because uh, Disney is too kid-friendly to have a monstrous xenomorph as part of their merchandise. Uh, which is stupid. Why would you buy a 20th Century Fox if not for Alien and Predator? Like, I know... Like, I know a lot of things about Disney, and I know that Disney is feeding off the competition. Fox is the competition. But I also know Fox, and I know Fox hasn't really been much of a competition. Fox hasn't had very many successful child movies. They've had many successful horror movies, though. Disney does not have any horror movies last I checked. Uh, it, like, and that, that's exactly the thing. There will be scary parts, maybe, in a movie, but uh, it's not a horror movie. And uh, that's the catch right there. There is really no, no, uh, no fight between these two companies, and yet Disney wants to take over Fox because of that beautiful, beautiful money it's earning. But, uh... They're going to ignore everything Fox owns. We own Fox, but we're not going to use Fox. Um, that's why it's all up to Alien Blackout. Alien Blackout is literally the last line of defense for the Alien franchise. Uh, a lot of people are going to disagree. They're going to say Alien Resistance, Alien Isolation, Novelization. What about those? those they're books. Um, they're going to work, I guess. Uh, for the time being, Alien Resistance is very... look like People look forward for Alien Resistance because it's supposed to be a sequel to Alien Isolation. And people enjoyed Alien Isolation. Um, so I respect that. But at the same time... What what are you going to do? It's... Uh, like, after the, after the Resistance franchise is done... And uh, according to these hints by the Alien Instagram page i'm assuming it's instagram maybe twitter no it's instagram uh like based on these like three of them have hashtag amanda ripley um the last one with hashtag amanda ripley is humans being tested on by the aliens 
like as or humans testing the aliens on other humans uh that means they're breeding them and everything uh ripley looks like <laughs> it looks like she might be the one to go which works believe it or not with continuity of the story because we all know wayland yutani is very good at covering their steps in terms of death like uh oh they t the prometheus touched down on uh lv lv2 I, I i forget the name of the planet like i know it's not lv426 that's the original alien planet it was a different one it was like lv226 or lv223 but um oh the prometheus touched down there based on uh, alien experiences. Oh, but Mr. Whalen died, and uh, and the crew died, and everything. The only one left is Elizabeth Shaw and David, who's apparently still active. Ah, uh, let's bury them all in the dirt and just say the ship went missing. Like, Whalen is really good at covering up the mistakes that happen in the Alien franchise. And, uh, in Aliens, the, the way that they say the daughter's death was was died of old age at 65 here's the catch we don't know 57 years ago uh 57 years ago was when she went missing right what was when ripley went missing uh which actually in continuity terms that means that uh he said that she died at 67 67 um anyway uh, Ripley is now, like, Amanda Ripley was, like, in her 20s, uh, in, in Alien Isolation. She was in her 20s, young adult. And, um, the catch there, the catch 22 there is, is that Ripley doesn't know what happened to her daughter because she never saw her during that period of time. We're getting the gaps filled in by Alien Isolation and the whole Alien Isolation franchise there. Which means that they could do whatever they want to kill Amanda Ripley off and just say it was a cover-up that she died of old age. So that's really good. That means that they're sticking with how crooked Wayland Yutani is and keeping with the continuity of the story. Um... I completely lost where I was before I even started going off on that. Ah, okay, I remember now. Um, it was about how, like, what we're gonna do after the Resistance storyline is over. If Ripley dies, if Amanda Ripley dies, which everyone with this proper evidence, uh, it sh looks like she will. If she dies, what happens next? does it lead back into aliens D what happens what happens to the rest of the franchise it just stops right there because that's the the way that the franchise was revived with these were with these alien video games and with prometheus and alien covenant um that's what's scary is the after blackout we don't know if we're gonna get another alien game and that's gonna cut that off we don't know if we're ever going to see Alien Awakening uh, because of this new Disney Fox merger. So I'm going to say the franchise is done after Alien Blackout, but that all hangs on Blackout. If Blackout is successful, if Blackout can come in with a good left hook and just smash every single doubt about Alien, we've won. Um like Disney it, Disney will definitely if they try to do Alien they will screw it up let's be honest uh, making like view the new Pirates movies for example everyone loved Pirates of the Caribbean 1 through 3 those were fantastic it was a great trilogy number 4 was okay it wasn't the best Pirates ever but it was a good revitalization of the franchise then you get Pirates of the Caribbean, Dead Men Tell No Tales. That movie stunk because it, it, like, it tore so many plot holes in the mix. Like, uh, the curse is broken, but after credit scene, Davy Jones is back. But he was cursed, so why is he Davy Jones? 
Not only that, but how is he back to life? Like, uh, and the Dutchman can't, uh, Dutchman needs a captain. Dutchman doesn't need a captain anymore because that curse was broken. It, uh, it left so many plot holes and so many disastrous issues. Not only that, but believe it or not, Johnny Depp got fired for the rest of the Pirates of the Caribbean franchise, so you'll never see Captain Jack Sparrow again. Uh, so say goodbye to that. Uh, so when you hear Disney is going to be in charge of Alien, it's either, okay, Alien is going to be a one-shot deal where people trust Alien for one thing, or... It is going to be dead before it hits the ground, and it will suffer drastically. It all hangs on Blackout. Blackout, so far, with what has been teased uh, for Blackout, um, is that the details, the details of Blackout, are that it's going to be, it's it's going to be another game. What I'm hearing is it's going to be another game in between Alien and Aliens, which is going to be interesting because Aliens, Colonial Marines, sounded an awful lot like an Alien Blackout sort of feel. Like, it sounds like it would be an Aliens video game, not an Alien video game. But anyway, I'm, I'm fine with setting that aside. Uh, but what happens is that the, the game can completely... Either it could be really great and be a fantastic alien game. It could save the franchise if it's that good. Or, if it's not a good game, we could all just kiss Alien goodbye. It's done after this, guys. It, like, I, I hate to say it, I loved Alien. I grew up with Alien. It was the most mind-boggling sci-fi horror film of all time. It was amazing. The effects, the, uh, the techniques of everything like everything was just so cool in alien but with all these issues with disney with the game uh with the game awards that was a massive massive disappointment which uh led a, led to a lot of doubt for alien blackout honestly because it was teased and everything they had pictures on the game awards instagram uh showing hideo kojima with alien property like alien posters and alien eggs and underneath the phrase worlds will change which was the tag slogan for the game awards that already caused so much controversy and doubt about the game the game might as well be dead in the water as of right now we're praying that it's better we're praying that it can get used to itself and uh, evolve itself into something so much better because we know it'll get screwed uh, if if it's uh, messed with or tampered with or delayed. Everyone will hate if it's delayed. Um, I want a good alien video game. You guys want a good alien video game. That's why you're watching. I'm gonna say it. And the, you can hate me in the comments. I, I'm gonna say it. Alien is dying. But it is up to us. It is up to the people at Cold Iron Studios. It is up to the people at Fox Next. It is up to the people at Fox and at Disney. It is up to all of us to make sure that the franchise lives on. Whether it's in our hearts or in films or in games. We need to keep the franchise alive. Because let's face it, if I'm going to quote... Ridley Scott in any way, I'm going to agree with him, uh, the, the, uh, Xenomorph has lost its scare, it has become less scary over time because everybody's seen the alien at this point, uh, the mystery and shadow, uh, shadowizing of the item, of the alien, of the franchise, has been taken away, uh, all the questions for the Xenomorph's life cycle for how it behaves and how it acts have been pretty much answered, um, there's no more there's nothing left of the franchise but the games can bring that back i just pray that they do it right and i know that you guys pray that they'll do it right what i hope for the most i'm gonna be honest what i hope for the most is one that the black uh the alien blackout battle royale mode crap rumor that was going around never happens uh -huh. 
Like I, I was hearing about that. A lot of people are like, oh, that'd be pretty cool. All the aliens fight each other to death. No, because there are so many. What what people don't understand is they th they see it as a good thing. Oh, alien is adapting. It is revitalizing revitalizing itself. No, it is killing itself with this because it is changing constantly. Giving new questions is good, but answering the old questions while giving the new questions is confusing, and that leads to the death of a franchise. And Alien is headed down that route faster than we could even imagine. Here's the big scare. The ultimate scare. Is everyone is in support of this Battle Royale mode, and uh, I don't have any reason to blame them, Fortnite and PUBG. Two of the most popular Battle Royale modes literally became famous overnight. Uh, the problem is, so many things, like, sure, they could get a few things right. The Iliad could look really great. The multiplayer, the, the status could be really great. But there are so many more things that could go wrong that people just can't see. And they need to visualize that. They need to know that it can be screwed up, that there is a possibility that the game will be over before we even play it. I just wanna, like, I just wanna say, I wanna leave this off a good note. Um, I haven't heard any news that David Littleoff is not participating in the Alien Black, in the Alien Blackout creation. Uh, I, I did hear that the Battle Royale note was satirical. That's completely understandable, it makes sense. Uh, but I still believe that David Lindelof is still part of creating this game, and I pray that we've given it to the right hands. Uh, as for as for another thing, I do I do really hope that this game turns out great because we're all hoping for it. I I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Leave a like, subscribe if you do. Uh, comment down below too. A, a lot of people have been commenting, and it's really good that you have been commenting. I also know that these things have blown up the channel. I went from 23 subs, literally 23, that's all I have, to 76. That is an explosion. Uh, but here's the thing that we that we need to know is that this wouldn't have been possible without you guys. And I thank you guys so much for that. So please comment. Tell me if I'm doing anything right, doing anything wrong. Uh, wish me to get better, hopefully. <laughs> And, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye! So oh.